Okay, let's have a look at Pulse Wrap Bitcoin here. Is it a pet rock of no value? Is it a meme coin that does nothing? Now, what I want to do today is ask, how can Pulse Wrap Bitcoin be a better Bitcoin? When I say this, I mean it in so much as, would it be possible that buying Pulse Wrap Bitcoin at this point in the market cycle gives you a better return on your investment than if you were to buy wrap Bitcoin on Ethereum or the um, original Bitcoin. Let's look at wrap Bitcoin on Ethereum first. It offers several advantages over native Bitcoin due to its integration with the Ethereum blockchain and the DeFi ecosystem. What I mean is for example, you've got speed and cost efficiency. You don't have 10 minute blocks like you do on Bitcoin. It's much faster on Ethereum. And oftentimes you get lower fees using the Ethereum network, especially if it's a layer two solution. Define smart contracts, liquidity and trading, programmability. Remember, we've got the Ethereum world computer staking and yield and enhanced privacy and anonymity thinking about things like coin mixers and so on uh, the, the blockchain for bitcoin is very transparent and um, having wrapped bitcoin on ethereum could potentially help with that so yeah there's a number of ways in which wrapped bitcoin is better than the naked Bitcoin on the Bitcoin network. But there are some trade-offs. The wrapping process introduces a dependency on third-party custodians, which goes against the ethos of decentralization that Bitcoin represents. Also, managing wrapped Bitcoin involves understanding different blockchain ecosystems, potential smart contract risks, and the mechanics of token wrapping and unwrapping. You've got to know that too. But fortunately, these issues are not faced by pulse wrap Bitcoin as it's a simple PRC20 token with no wrapped asset. So now, yeah, let's compare the two of them. Total supply, you've got 154K versus a variable supply which potentially could be millions so this is an interesting attribute it's a scarce resource the wrapped asset shock horror pulse wrap bitcoin it doesn't have bitcoin inside it it's just a prc20 although ethereum does have this wrapped asset con connected to it Third-party custodian dependencies, not really, not when you're not wrapping anything up, but of course that is an issue for Ethereum. Now you can do DeFi, smart contracts, you can trade with it, fine. One potential use case is for providing liquidity. Imagine you have a wrapped Bitcoin on Ethereum and you bridge it across the Pulse chain, then you get some Pulse Bitcoin and you put those into a yield farm. Now you've got the ability to receive lots of rewards in the form of the incentive token just by getting this Pulse Wrap Bitcoin and putting them together. With this fixed supply, the scarcity of Pulse Wrap Bitcoin in liquidity pools could increase its value. Imagine there's a duck, just bear with me. Imagine there's a duck and this duck actually owns a large proportion of those 150,000 tokens. That's going to mean that if you're in a liquidity pool, the pulse tokens that you're pairing against the wrapped Bitcoin from Ethereum that you bridged over, they're even rarer, but they generate all this ink yield for you. These tokens now are special because of this rarity. 
and that's probably going to cause the token price to go up. At the moment, this token price is around $200. But if people start using it for farming, they're going to find that it's going to go up due to demand and its scarcity. It's just simple supply and demand. Remember, at the time of uh, publishing this video, Bitcoin itself is at about $75,000, which is considerably more. I'm not saying it's going to hit parity, but I'm saying it's going to drag the price up. Right now, it's got a market cap of around 30 million. There's a lot of meme coins with a market cap above that. But unlike other meme coins, if we want to consider it to be one, this particular token has the ability to help people earn lots of ink yield on bridged over Bitcoin. That gives it a very interesting use case, in my opinion. So, in conclusion, people could be incentivized to buy up pulse wrapped Bitcoin as it could enable them to earn yield with their wrapped Bitcoin. This might also have a positive effect upon the value of the incentive token. Who knows? Pure speculation. I may be wrong. The opportunity to earn yield could also incentivize users to bridge over assets from Ethereum, resulting in thicker liquidity. And in turn, of course, that thicker liquidity will mean less slippage and that makes it a better platform to trade on. Win win. More potential for the number go up due to low market cap. Well, yeah, the same amount of economic energy in a token that with a smaller market cap is going to move the price of that token by a greater amount. There's doubtless many other possibilities that haven't been considered here, especially with my tiny mind. But there we have it, the idea that potentially as far as a return on your investment is concerned, this PRC copy with no wrapped asset inside it may turn out to be the best ROI if you're looking for a Bitcoin ticker due to its relative scarcity. What do you think? Am I insane? That's quite likely true. But do let me know. Cheers.